Hi everyone, Lala here and today I'm going to be showing you how people cheat art on Animal Jam. Personally, I don't know how well known this method is. I know a lot of people used to know about it. I know the Shop King, he actually has, he uses this method for a lot of his art. I do have a one of one Shop King masterpiece here. It is with the Beta Gumball machine. I'll put a photo on the right hand side basically of what the difference is between the actual item and then this photo. As you can see in the art studio here, it's going to be, it's kind of hard to, you know, <laughs> to draw it, you know. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how people cheat and make art like that that looks pretty identical to the actual masterpieces. For example, we're gonna do a headdress. So the first thing they do is they go onto Google and they look up the item they want. So we want the headdress. So here we have a photo of a headdress right here. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a printer. So I just quickly drew a headdress. So basically what they do is they print it out. So imagine this is a printed photo of the headdress straight from Google and they go on to the art studio here and they put it on the monitor here so I'll get some tape and here it is with some tape and they pretty much go over here and they pretty much just go like this and they just draw underneath it. Uh, I know the Shop King has actually, he did show people how to do this but um, he got a lot of backlash for doing this in like 20, uh, I would like to say 2016 he made a video about it. So as you can see here I've got a side by side video right here of it. Um, I'll even do my la la thing here too. Um, but obviously if you print it, it'll be a lot more accurate instead of just hand free drawing it. Yeah, pretty much it's just like them doing this, which I think is pretty scummy to be honest. Um, because it's not really your art, you're kind of just tracing it. And considering that like real life, you know, drawing, if you trace it, isn't your work, you know? And I'm doing this very, very quickly, you know? Um, like almost no effort whatsoever. Um, you can't really see it because you have to press it against here, but if you have more tape, you know, it will be easier to draw. Um, but I'll take it off now. And look, you know, like the, it's crazy how people do this. I think it's really, really scummy to do this, to do that, you know, obviously I just did half of one there, but you get the idea. I think it's extremely, you know, not cool. You know, a lot of people do try their hardest. I mean, sure, if you have a reference photo, like on the right hand side, if you have like a photo like here, you know, of something and you draw it on here, that's fine. But the fact is that people are directly, you know, copying on it it's i don't know i don't like it i don't think it's um i don't know i i don't consider it art you know I, it's, it's just cheating looking back as you can see this looks strangely accurate to it i know for sure shop king used to do this i don't know if he still does but i do remember watching this video on, on how he, he did it and what he did and he got a lot of backlash and he just pretty much privated the video and continued on i hoped people would forget you know about it obviously in my den here as you can see this is spider-man 3 um my favorite movie by the way of all time i don't believe this is traced um i know this bugs teen guy is very 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 good art um as you this is very obviously made you can see like the dots and everything and i mean possibly they could have traced around it for the the outline but i know for sure they didn't one-on-one -on -one, you know it's a very different thing just from doing the outline and coloring it in this actually has shading and everything but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys on the next one